We start out with a reality show, one that puts young musicians on the stage with veteran professionals, a show that highlights classical music training and that gives young people a place to shine. It's called From the Top. During its recent tour to Rochester's Kodak Hall at the Eastman School of Music, some Rochester area students were chosen to participate. We find out what music means to these students and what it was like for them to be picked for this prestigious show. Well, I started it out as a hobby because all the other kids in my kindergarten class were playing the piano. But then as I was playing around two years later, I developed a great affection for it. And that's why it led me here. It's my voice. And it, it, it's a very personal thing because your whole body is involved when you sing. And it, what's really cool is like everyone can sing. Like there's no one around that just can't sing. You, everyone has a voice. There's just something about the cello that resonates with me. I mean, it's closest to the range of a human voice. And it's, it's my passion. I do it, and it's what I choose to do. And it's what I want to spend the rest of my life doing. I actually, I didn't choose violin because I was only two and a half. They started me on violin, and I just went up from there. And I learned and I played. What From the Top does is it celebrates uh, the, the work of young artists, but we also reveal them as personalities uh, above and beyond classical music, which is to say, uh, this is not something that you need to know everything, you know, the names, dates, and places of composers, et cetera, et cetera. We just have kids on the show who love classical music, not necessarily to the exclusion of all else. Um, it was exciting because I was, I'm a 10 year old and uh, I really didn't expect to get in. When I was chosen to From the Top, I was really excited to interact with different musicians and meet different kinds of people worldwide, so it was a really great experience for me. Part of the thing that's so great about programs like this is meeting musicians that share the same passion. And like Pierce here, he's 10. I <laughs> never would have been able to play like that when I was 10 years old. But just to meet people who can do that is inspiring to me. As a singer, was it was just, it was unexpected. I kind of just applied and I was like, oh, what the heck, I'll just I'll apply and uh, see what happens. And it was so exciting, I got this email. And I kind of had written it off like as something that wasn't going to happen. And I got this email, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest opportunity. What's even more powerful is that when we do our radio program, we also invariably do school visits with the kids. How much more powerful can it be to have school children listening to their peers? And not to just proselytize and, and let's get more violists out there, but to, to see their peers excelling at something that they've only been doing maybe three or four years. And so the message that comes across from that is, if I find something that I'm passionate about, I can do anything. Outside of violin is really just a normal kid's life. I do all the things I like to do. I run around, play frisbee with my brothers, everything. Have nerd friend fights. <laughs> practicing is not a bad thing. Like, I really like practicing. And like, if you're having a really good day, you feel really great. Well, I think um, quality of practicing is much more important than the quantity of practicing. So when I practice, I give my all. But like Emily was saying, practicing really isn't a chore. So when I spend time practicing, it's not, I don't resent it. It's still fun for me. Um, so I probably do about four hours a day. We would never think of canceling school sports programs. We would never think of canceling the football team. Why is the football team more essential than a school chorus or a school orchestra? Both of them are communities of, of participants that are being lifted up by a common exploit, by a common pursuit of excellence. And uh, I think at a sporting event and, an, and at a really good musical event, the, the participation on the part of the audience is also similar, similarly epiphanal. Um, I think learning music is really important for um, learning work ethic. And uh, it, music isn't necessarily about the music you're making. It's, it's about learning how to practice and learning how to study. 
and all of those things are really important and when you're working on an instrument and you have one thing that you're really focused on you can start to apply that to other things. If we didn't have music education there would be a lot lacking in the academic side of things too. I just had to do a research project for school and the SAT scores for kids with music education turned out to be around 50 points higher. So, there, I mean, there's proof that music is beneficial for academics and just for life in general. So it's something that needs to be pursued in the future. To see and hear more musicians like these, visit the show's website at fromthetop.org.